Hey guys, welcome to a new video. And today, I um, I have something to uh, show you. It's right down here. If I can open it, I'm gonna do that. Here we have Windows 11, right here. So um, today I'm going to walk walk you through the ins installation and features of Windows 11. So yeah, let's um, check it out. You press next, and you can see the Windows logo changed back to the old one. Pretty weird, but yeah, let's install. Setup is starting. Um, I I might speed up a bit of this because it's exactly the same as most Windows installs. But yeah, so this loads up. You go and say I don't have a pro a product key, and then let's do Win Windows 11 Pro because the weird thing is that um. In um, Windows 11 Pro, you um, can um, skip the um, Wi-Fi and um, Microsoft account things, whereas in w in um, in Windows 11 Home, you can't. And also, saying Windows 11 Home or something sounds kind of weird. Memory. What's next? Here's the license agreement that no one cares about. And next, install. And um, I'll just uh, speed speed this up because it's. So I am back, and it is about to finish, which is pretty cool. And here's a new logo here. Looks pretty cool. So this is Winver here, and then can do maybe uh, Mm -hmm. 
And yeah, so you can open command prompt here and stuff, which is pretty cool. So we're just gonna wait until this is done, and yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm, I might actually turn off the RAM on this because it feels kind of slow. So it's going to do power. Now we can press next. Then we can open command prompt. We want to, I think. Yes, we can. And let's go to next. You we'll skip. What do you if I go out of full screen? Now it's running better. <laughs> anyway. Check and go updates and stuff. Alright. Offline account. Press next and you turn off all of this annoyance. Press next. And yeah. And now it's good. And, and now it's going to do this high stuff and everything. It's pretty cool. I will probably not upload this until um, until Windows 11 is is uh, official, and then Microsoft has said it, said that it's a real thing. But so yeah. Almost there, and we're done. So this is the new UI, which is pretty cool. Let's check in our updates. We don't want that right now. So uh, yeah, this is Win Windows 11, and it's going to quickly install VMware tools so that we can get a better look or maybe we don't need it let's go to display settings we can do this which, which will be a bit better so we don't need this but yeah so this is a new uh, start menu. It's kind of loading in a bit. So we have some programs here and stuff. We can go to all programs. See a lot of things here. I'm, I'm just gonna quickly. Right. Uh, I'll be back in a second. So. Yeah. Okay, I'm back. 
and um, I have activated windows and everything it's pretty cool so now I can do this wait okay so we um so um we we still have the old kind of right click menu on the start menu which would be cool and you um, can move this to the left that to which I like let's go to device usage we can select gaming entertainment and yeah uh, not sure why I'm not getting around in corners must be something to do with Windows 10 Pro, oh, Windows uh, Windows 11 Pro, because like you probably get more uh, better things going on in the home version of this. The next thing I'm gonna do is try and get the old start menu back. Oh, and yeah, um, you um have to enable um. You 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 will have to, you have to sign into your Microsoft account to get some of the features. It's kind of disappointing, so you can just uh, unpin that thing. Like it's a cool feature, but it's also kind of weird. But anyway, let's get the old star menu back. Okay, uh, so apparently, you won't, you, you, um, only get the rounded corners if you have, um, a good gra, um, if you have good graphics and um, drivers installed. Because once I, because when, because when I installed VMware, so, suddenly, the um, rounded corners appeared. But it's kind of interesting because it's the first time in uh, about a few years that um, you um, need a, I, I got graphics driver to um, get some of the visual changes. Like, like, like um, for example, if if you didn't have proper um graph graphics drivers um on um, Windows Seven, you you will not get the um, arrow glass because it needs a lot of uh, um because it's a very intensive theme. So I guess that's kind of a transition to the to um. A tradition to that it is coming back. Anyway, hey guys, so I so I am um, know how to do it now. So first, I'm gonna grab the file again, which is just right here with the documents, and then here is the ISO to the data made. And then you bring it over here. And that's uh so first you need to go to tax manager again. Just right here. And you go to start. And just ignore that part. And then here you um copy this name. And then rename this with the same. 
So then you so first you enable uh, extensions again. And then you and then you just name this something else. Now you keep the thing there, put some numbers in there. Oh yeah, first I need to yeah, put in the permissions, so right click properties security and okay I edit Now we can rename this. And now we can drag this in. And just change this. And now we will We'll um, sign in and out. <sighs> and then, bam, we have the Windows 10 start menu. So you might see that some of the things are gone here. So all you have to do is go down here. Okay. Tax bar settings, go to start, and then go and enable the things you want. So, for example, settings. And yeah, you can take that, that open settings and everything. Oh, yeah, and when, when you hover over this, you can snap, which is pretty cool. But anyway, that's pretty cool. If if you want to get back the new start menu, if you really like this, like the new one, then you do the same. You go okay. Then oh yeah. So then you rename this back to normal. And then you re sign in. And we have a back. Oh, wait. I talked to someone weird now. Tax manager. <sighs> yes, so now you go here, go center. <laughs> oh my god. It's uh, I wish I would maybe do something odd here, but that's kind of funny there. Anyway, change it back to normal, and yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry for the kind of uh, long wait and stuff, but uh, so this is probably not F the um, final features because like this is just a leak which which was not meant to happen but i guess it happened anyway see ya bye hey guys i am um, hope you enjoyed 
um this video um if you like the video then like and subscribe and um and um i am uh, streaming on twitch a lot so i'll um i'll um, put that on screen and in the description it's um uh, twitch twitch.tv slash mineground and yeah see ya bye